If you guys give me the 25 likes on this video, I will do an on foot look today and drop it in the morning. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bert Collins back with another video, back with another banger, back with another unboxing. Please run it up, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can stay tapped in with the channel. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Look, man, we got another pair of shoes. Pretty sure this is the right pair, too. We're going to get straight into the box. Not here to really waste no time. But just know, oh, yeah, this is it. This is it, man. <laughs> just know I am not here to waste your time, man. We got an early look. I took a W on the uh, shock drop. And I heard that not many people took a W on the shock drop, so... I now feel, I, you know, I feel good about getting this W, man. And the funny thing is about this shoe, I was not gonna go for this shoe. I wasn't gonna go for it. I was in a, I think I was in Rahus's chat, and I was like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. And then at the last minute, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. And if I hit, I hit. If I don't, I don't. But, and I ended up getting the W, man. So. Uh, let's get into it. Air Jordan 1 Retro OG High. University Blue, Black, White. Size 10, you guys, my size. Look around the box. A beautiful University Blue block box. Right here it says 1985 OG. Oh no, it says 1985 Air Jordan 1. Right at the bottom. Pop the top. You got your factory stamp. You got your Nike stamp. And you got some other stuff going in on the inside right there. We'll look at it together. First off, that smell that's coming off the shoes. Yes, sir, that new box smell, man. There's nothing like the smell. And really what it is, is really just that glue smell. But it smells so good. Leather quality, good. Nothing crazy, not like shattered backboard or nothing like that. Bow. There you go, the University Blue black and white air jordan one size 10. i'm happy i went for the shoe i'm i'm honestly happy i went for the shoe in my my first looks my opinion on the shoe it looks really it looks good there's nothing wrong with this shoe i don't see no glue marks great retail pickup honestly this is a great retail pickup i'm not really into resale i don't like to pay resale i've only paid resale on a couple pairs of shoes and that's not my favorite thing to do but for a retail pickup this is definitely a great w um as you go around the shoe look at the the leather on the toe box like i said it's cool it's not nothing crazy but it's cool it's not cheap, but it's not that plush leather leather that everybody's always looking for. We got like a nylon type deal for the tongue. Come around the side, it's, it's just all leather, man. It's your basic black toe with the color on the toe, right? So like, if this was the black and red Jordan one, it'd be the bread toe, right? But like, so technically this is the blue and black toe. Right. Got Nike on the tongue. I mean, honestly, flawless execution on this shoe. Nothing crazy to it, but like flawless execution. I know a lot of people, so the last colorway that dropped like this was the taxi. 
and I know a lot of people didn't go for that shoe. Me, I didn't go for that shoe because I have pollens, I have pollen lows. I got a lot of yellow shoes, so I, by the time it got to the taxi, I didn't personally want that shoe. Um, now, I would rather have the pollen than, or I would rather have the taxi yellow toe than have all the yellow shoes in my collection. But since I have so many yellow shoes, it just didn't make sense for me to buy another yellow shoe. But this shoe, I don't have a lot of Carolina blue or UNC or University blue shoes in my collection. And uh, the last shoe that I had that was this colorway was the Obsidians, and I sold that shoe. So this made a lot of sense at the end of the day for me to pick up. No complaints, like I said. You look around the shoe, and it looks good. Like, I don't know if I'll even keep this shoe right now. For now, definitely I'm keeping this shoe. I have no reason to get rid of this shoe especially after selling my obsidians. But like, you know, I kind of like that the hype has died down in sneakers. I kind of like that when you go on the Nike website, you're still able to get a pair of shoes that you wouldn't be able to get. Um, so good luck to everybody on release day. I hope you guys all get dubs. Um, it's definitely worth the pickup in my opinion. I would definitely cop this, especially for retail. The blue is beautiful. A lot of people say it's the same color as the powder blue Lowe's. I don't have that shoe, I couldn't tell you. But what I will say for this shoe is that it's consistent. I don't see any like glue stains. Nothing crazy, man, it's a great shoe. You guys get down in the comments. Tell me what you think on the University Blue Jordan 1. Let me know, did you guys get a W? Was it hard for you? Every channel that I am subscribed to, it seemed as if people in the chat were not getting dubs. So I don't know if I was just one of a few or if this shoe is just really gonna be that hard to cop. Get down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. It's your boy, Burt Collins. You guys give me the 25 likes on this video. I will do an on foot look today and drop it in the morning. So run up the video, give me the 25 likes. I will do an on foot look for this shoe. It's your boy, Burke Collins. I appreciate y'all. I've already tapped in. Now I'm tapping out. Peace.